it's the second uh, demonstration that uh, takes place uh, in Amsterdam in, uh, in order to show the solidarity to the, to the people that uh, uh, experience the, the, the austerity in the periphery of the European Union, mainly Spain, Greece and uh, Portugal. We focus on Greece on this time uh, since uh, there are the elections, they were the elections and there are the elections to tomorrow. Uh, the very important thing is that in this second uh, effort of us, of, of us, the initiative is, uh, is uh, more in the Dutch, uh, in the Dutch uh, part of the society, which is very important because they didn't realize uh, unexpectedly that we have to show the solidarity. The, the reason is that they started uh, to experience the austerity also in the Netherlands. We know all that there are the elections on 12th of September, the government uh, uh, fell down and and uh, I think that this is the, uh, the secret of this effort, that we have to keep in a very, in a pan-European level, uh, uh, struggling against these policies and neoliberal policies of austerity in all the Europe, uh, yeah, and not focusing only on solidarity, because the crisis, the reason is that crisis is everywhere, and the austerity is everywhere, even in the core of Europe, even in Germany, in some uh, time, probably in the future, the crisis is coming. And this is the, the most important the message of this uh, demonstration today. Yes, yes. Uh, I think that uh, the situation in the whole European Union after 2008 uh, of, and uh, the struggle of crisis in Europe uh, has started to, uh, to, differ, to differ, differentiate in, uh, from state to state, but now it's coming to a more uh, equal way. What I mean, uh, the crisis started from the, the states of the periphery, which is Greece, Ireland, Portugal, Spain, but now through the austerity measures and policies, the whole European Union system cannot function in the way that they want, that they were exploiting uh, the workers and the youth for the countries, but mainly and uh, through this procedure of the European Union of the periphery states. And this has as a result that the crisis and the results of these austerity policies are not only obvious in Greece and Spain, but also in the Netherlands. So the taxation of uh, the the, tax pay, the, the payment of the loans to the Greek and the Spanish and the Portuguese uh, banks, which maybe are going finally also to the German and Dutch uh, banks, are, is, is being made through the, the, the European taxpayers. So all the Dutch people are taxed in order the Netherlands to participate in the big loan to Greece, to Spain, etc. This has as a result uh, the worsening of the, of the economic situation in the whole uh, in the whole Europe. This is the first se uh, element. The second element, which is also important, is that crisis in 2008 uh, has started uh, to, to uh, the implications and the impact of crisis has already been has already appeared to Greece and to Spain and to Portugal. But now, in a very in a very in a much bigger rate. But now it's coming also to the core of the Europe. Union. So the two elements, crisis and the policies that uh, the governments in the European Union uh, apply to confront crisis has as a result uh, the crisis to spread the, the crisis, the austerity and the bad economic performance for the majority of the society to spread in the whole Europe, even in the core of the European Union. I think since the crisis and the austerity policies do not take into account uh, the borders, the national borders. I think in this way, uh, the citizens, the youth workers, the youth should act. So in a pan-European level, full of solidarity for everyone, not for specific persons, fighting directly against the policies that are everywhere. So uh, versus austerity everywhere, we have to fight everywhere, in every street, in every square, in every city, in every state. Mm -hmm. This is probably a good way of going on in this struggle. The way of the process, the, the way of the, of the process of struggle is very long, quite long. So it cannot finish in one day, in one week or in one year. This is a very long term situation that has to be continuous and demand uh, some things that people, workers think that they are the suitable for them. Uh, now, 
In Greece there were some uh, 24, 48 hour strikes, uh, national strikes in the whole uh, sectors, working sectors, which were kind of successful that they were in the way that they were pressing, they were uh, pressing politically the government. But they didn't uh, actually stop the working process, the working, the, the process of the market, the process of the of the production for more than one or two days. And in this way, the system doesn't hurt. So probably we have to keep going on with some continuous strikes, not one or two days, but continuous until they put they, they take back all these austerity policies, demonstrations in the streets. This should be, and I think that its assembly, its uh, uh, its uh, union, labor union of its state or of its city, can decide what it can do in a local level. But I think the general direction that we have to go on is uh, continuous strikes, and uh, which will stop the market process and the production process and demonstrations in the cities in order all these people to gather together to struggle against these policies and to decide because it's also a kind of organization the kind of organization of the movement has to be something like real democratic direct democratic which can be applied in the level of the square of the of the university or of the working place what message would you like to pass uh, to the people in, uh, struggling in Greece? The message, first of all, is that uh, they are not alone. They are not alone not only because we show the solidarity, but they are not the, the only nation now that feels this austerity, has this austerity in, his, in its life. So in this way, we will fight together, not only for your solidarity, starting from this, but integrating it in the integrated uh, struggle against all the austerity policies in all over the Europe. This is the real message. They are not alone. We are all together. The austerity is everywhere. We will be everywhere.